the admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait. You're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? I don't know what kind of game you think you're playing, but you're being a jerk. You could seriously hurt people. Oh, come on. Come on, don't do me like that. You have to admit, you've been having a little fun along the way. All those guardian fish, the temple. Hey, see, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane! They don't stand a chance, admin. I'm going to stop each and every one of your monsters. Ooh, a hero with attitude. I love it. I really do. Ahem. <clears throat> your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. Are you insane? Are you just an actual crazy person? Is it because I look like this? Yeah, I can see why you'd think that. But no, 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 I'm just fine. I promise you. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> why? Well, because it's fun, obviously! I mean, this is gonna be epic! You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays! Pesky little consequence of eternal night! And... <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbours until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. We need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. And now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? 
Really? I thought you were too scared to do things like this. I... I thought I was too. But I just feel like there are times when the little guy needs to step up. And well, maybe this is my time. All right, everyone. We've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. Block this up after we leave, would ya? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you! I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Stay close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. Were you listening to him? He's a total wacko. I bet even he doesn't know what his game plan is. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off, Jesse. It could all be a ruse. I'm with Jesse, actually. I think he's a few rails short of a full track. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know. Find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real, hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Uh, hello? Just because we don't spend as much time together doesn't mean I'm not still your friend, dummy. Ugh, see, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their... thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. The open road, right? That's kind of what I thought too. <sighs> Luna? Uh, is that a scarf on that llama? Huh, think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? She's just a goofy llama. Little weird, but nice enough. Don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but I'd watch who you're calling goofy. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Hush, I'm talking. Yeah. Hi, Stella. Hi? That's all you have to say for yourself. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella. 
the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Can't believe you're all alone. Thought you had people to do things like this for you. Huh. That's what you think. But when Champion City is threatened, I am not going to refuse the call. I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world, too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa. The moon is... stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. You holding up okay? Not gonna have another <clears throat> episode? No. No, no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm taking my fear, my anger, my rage, my fear, and, uh, converting them into pure awesomeness. Uh, good. Good. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get there. <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. That's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh. I wonder who he would agree with. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait. Do you two know each other? Uh, yeah. I, uh... I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. I'd leave him alone if I were you, Stella. Unless you want to try me again, that is. If I remember right, that didn't work out so well last time. You act so high and mighty, but you really are just a bully sometimes, you know that? Come on, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Just try not to get killed, okay, Radar? I want everyone to get home alive. I, uh, yeah. I'll make sure it's at the top of my to-do list. Would you look at that? 
Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! Okay, what's going on? Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round! Y y don't be shy! Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? You watch it, Admin. And who exactly made you the judge? Um, my near infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. People's lives are at stake here. Can't say I care for your attitude. But that's fine. You'll figure it out soon enough. <laughs> 